Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a wise and humble king. His reign was marked by fairness, compassion, and wisdom. He ruled not just with laws, but with love, extending his kindness to every living creature within his domain. Birds sang joyfully in his palace gardens, deer roamed freely in his fields, and even a monkey found refuge under his care. The king's love for his people and animals alike was widely admired, yet there was one exception to his otherwise inclusive nature, the monkey. Unlike the birds that flew to him at his call or the deer that grazed peacefully near him, the king kept a cautious distance from the monkey. He treated it kindly, provided it food and shelter, but always maintained a safe space. This perplexed the royal court. Ministers and parliamentary members often whispered amongst themselves, questioning the king's decision. How could a ruler, renowned for his fairness and inclusion, withhold the same embrace from the monkey? Curiosity finally got the better of them. One day, they gathered the courage to ask the king why he distanced himself from the monkey while showering affection on all other creatures. The king, with a knowing smile, invited them to witness an important lesson. The next day, in the grand royal court, the king called for the monkey to be brought in. With great excitement, the ministers watched as the monkey was fed and allowed to roam freely in the chamber. At first, the monkey was calm, sitting on a minister's lap, playing harmlessly. But as time passed, it grew restless. It began pulling the minister's hair, climbing on his shoulders, and soon slapped him across the face. The court burst into laughter, but the king remained silent, observing. When the commotion died down, the king addressed his ministers. This, my dear friends, is why I keep my distance from the monkey. I love and care for all beings, but wisdom demands that I recognize the nature of each. The monkey, by its very nature, is unpredictable. If I treat it the same way as the gentle deer or the loyal dogs, I invite chaos. It requires boundaries, not because it is lesser, but because its nature demands it. Leadership is not about treating everyone identically, but about knowing how to guide each according to their nature. Some require freedom to flourish, others need structure to prevent chaos. The king's words resonated deeply for they carried a profound truth about the complexities of leadership and governance. Not all beings, whether they be animals or people, can be treated in the same way. Some thrive with freedom and responsibility, while others, due to their nature or circumstances, need firmer boundaries and guidance. Leadership is not about imposing uniformity, but about adapting to the needs and behaviors of those under one's care. This ancient story reflects a timeless truth about governance in modern societies. In many nations, particularly those where democratic ideals are still taking root, leadership must carefully balance freedom and control. The events of August 5, 2024 in Bangladesh serve as a stark reminder of this delicate balance. What began as a student revolution, calling for justice and reform, spiraled into widespread disorder vandalism, and mob justice. In the absence of strong and adaptive governance, chaos reigned, revealing a truth about societal readiness for self-governance. In many developing countries, democracy struggles to thrive when the people are not yet equipped or prepared to take on the full responsibility of civic duties. Much like the unpredictable monkey, the populace can act impulsively, leading to instability and unrest if there is no guiding structure in place. Without a leadership that understands the unique needs and challenges of its people, disorder can quickly replace the promise of freedom. History offers numerous examples of this balance being tested. Leaders like Saddam Hussein, Muammar Gaddafi, and Sheikh Hasina may have ruled with an iron fist, but in countries, where democratic majority is still evolving. Their leadership, though controversial, maintained a semblance of stability and order. Their rule highlights an uncomfortable truth. In certain situations, firm governance is necessary to prevent societal chaos. 
especially when the people are not yet ready to embrace full democratic responsibility.